it's their turn to move and as you can tell it goes in order so red purple then orange and then um, these are the attacks and his move is six his defense is eight his health is eight no armor and he, he his combat by dice is two whites so let's go in order of how he's going to move is there an opponent opponent adjacent nope nobody next to these guys next is there an opponent within range four no absolutely not can it move and attack an opponent an opponent within range four that's something that we are going to take into account so let's see let's click this off if he moves his six dice one two three four and there's the range is one two yes he's able to attack from here to here so yes I think that's line of sight right yeah that, that would hit that would hit so he can move and do that so he is actually uh, can I show it here if it's clear enough can it move and attack an opponent within range four yes it can move to be up to range four from the nearest opponent then make a attack a range four attack now there's something that we have to keep in mind. He went over this gap. And when you over go over the hazardous terrain or whatever it may be called, you have to roll a dice to see if he makes it. And if he rolls a skull, he dies. And I don't know if you do that per hole. So we're going to do it for one and then we'll look in the rules to see if, if it's per hole that he jumped. Because he can only jump a maximum of two per the rules. So let's see first if he makes it. Okay, he made it, and I'm gonna check the rules if it's uh, per two uh, spaces that he jumped through. Okay, guys, I think that it was just one dice. So he made it, and now he's doing a range four attack on Remy. So uh, we are going to go into the card to see if he has Hive Mind. If he has anyone within four within his sphere of influence with which is range four in an area around him he will get one yellow i mean one white and one orange dice but if there's no one around him then he just reverts to his normal two white dice and he is attacking remy because he's the only one in line of sight so let's go ahead and see if he's within four of this chipmunk over here one two three four he misses out so he does not get hive mind so he rolls two white dice now remy has nine defense it's kind of hard to see so let's go get her card she has nine defense plus she additionally has an additional defense for this card so she that's 10 defense and she has this occult shirt which does not provide any defense but it does give her three health but she has an ability called exhaust and if we exhaust we get to dodge for free because normally if you want to dodge you have to spend stamina points and it says if you successfully dodge the attack you get to counter and we'll go through counter if we successfully dodge the attack so we're exhausting this and as we talked about already she has 10 defense he has to roll a minimum of 10 to get an attack off but we are going to roll this because of our dodge roll so any shields that we put on add to our defense but if we rolled an uh a skull uh, well nothing happens so the our this just doesn't count we still get our 10 defense though. So let's go ahead and see what this cave sickle does. And woo, four defense. So our defense is up to 14, which honestly doesn't matter because he rolled a six. And that's not enough to get to 14 or even our baseline of 10. So this attack completely fails. 
which means let's go to our occult shirt and it says if you successfully dodge the attack we get to counter and passive when making a dodge if you don't roll a skull at one so that's technically 15 but this says if you successfully dodge the attack we get to counter so we are going to counter on him but the problem is remy cannot counter because she is not adjacent next to the uh the cave sickle so too bad on that that's the end of the first cave sickle so now this one does the same thing it has a movement of six which would make him go one two three four five and that would make him range in front of remy now we're gonna roll to see if he makes if he made the jump so if he rolls a skull he's dead and he rolled yeah he passed it the only uh the only way he fails is to roll a skull additionally i should have gone through the cards why did he make that attack because uh, none of these came out. So is there an opponent adjacent? He can't do that. Is there an opponent within range four? He can't do that. So he went to his last ability and that's the only one he could have done. So move it and then attack an opponent within range. So moves up to six and that's what we did. So now he gets to attack again with two white dice on Remy. So let's go ahead. I can't really. Oh, yeah. No, I don't have anything that will help me do that. Nope, 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 nothing here. Okay, so nope. So it's the two white dice. Oh, and this time we, we're we we're close to making a mistake because when he's attacking, you check for a hive mind. Is anybody within the sphere of influence of this cave sickle? And depending on how many people are close to him, it it that's it changes the dice so if there was up to four cave sickles near him he would be rolling three dice plus he'll be just be doing two damage instantly oh no not two damage this is two actually i don't even know what that symbol is it's two defense oh so he's he has an extra defense that's what that would be but he would go from white dice to three dice uh the empowered and two teal dice so that would be a very strong attack Currently, he only has one person as, as the sphere of influence. So since there's four, uh, we go from that to that. So he makes his attack a little bit stronger. And the sphere of influence is right here. He's one. So let's go ahead and see what he has to roll. Again, our defense is 10. So he has to match 10 for attacks to go through. So let's go. Oh, he did a 12 and he has a plethora of symbols so he rolled a 12 and let's go to the cave, cave sickle thing every shield is an additional physical damage so we have 10 defense he rolled 12 so that means that's two attack going through okie dokie and then he rolled one two three shields so that's three additional damage. So we are taking five damage. Remy is five damage off that attack. <coughs> so we go from 29 to 24. Let's go ahead and make sure I put this accurately. There you go. 24 health. All right, so that's the Cave Sickle's turn. He doesn't have a follow-up on his attacks. So let's go ahead and continue now. That's the end of the turn. So what we're going to do now is we're going to reorder the order of the initiative. So the way we do that is we shuffle the initiative cards. I'm going to do this underneath the table so I can't look and cheat. All right, and then we'll shuffle it a little bit here, and then we'll pull them in order and see who goes first. Remy goes first, good. And then a Nightingale goes second, and then third would be the Cave Sickle. That's the first thing that we do. The other thing that we will do is to add a time token. 
And depending on how quickly we uh, win this scenario or lose, I guess, this is going to change the status of our of our points that we get at the end. So that's a one. And then at the back is a three. So right now it's one. We're trying to beat this prior to five turns. I don't know how realistic that is, but we are going to attempt to do that. 